going to learn how to use NVIDIA Parakeet, which is one of the best ASR automatic speech recognition model on Google Colab. You can just copy this Colab and then run it on your local machine if you have got an NVIDIA GPU. But if you are GPU poor, then you can just run this for free on Google Colab. The first thing that you have to do is I'll give this Google Colab notebook in the YouTube description below the like button. All you have to do is click and then start using it. But if you do want to understand the code and start from scratch, then rest of the video is for you. I've got a new Google Colab notebook and inside the runtime, I've changed the runtime to enable T4 GPU. So as you can see here, I just did NVIDIA SMI that shows me that I've got this much GPU memory, which is also what we call as the graphics memory. So we have got approximately about 15 gigs of graphics memory, and that is what we are going to use to do this particular compute. Then once the GPU is set up, then we are going to install NVIDIA's Nemo toolkit with ASR. So pip install upgrade Nemo toolkit with ASR. It will take a couple of minutes for it to get installed. Once that is successfully installed, the next thing is on Google Colab, there was a NumPy error mismatch. So I had to just force reinstall NumPy and then restart the session. I had to go to runtime, restart the session. If you don't face any issue, you don't have to do this. Then once everything is done, at this point, we have the GPU enabled, we have installed the particularly required library. Then all we have to do is import nemo.collections.asr as nemo asr and then from nemo asr models.asr model dot from pre-trained, we're going to import this particular model, which is NVIDIA Parakeet TDT 0.6 billion parameter model, which is a 600 million parameter model V2. So we're going to import this into an object called ASR model. If this is successful, you would see something like this, which will talk about the sentence piece tokenizer. It will talk about the everything else. That is what makes this model. Once that is done, then you have to download the input file in some format. I'm just downloading a random input file from the internet. If you do not want to do that, you can just go click here, upload your own internet input file as well. So you can either go upload here or you can download it from anywhere and then start using it. If you want to download, one of the easier way to download is to use wget. So once you do wget dash o, this is going to download it in particular file format, file name. And this is the file name. And from this place is where I'm downloading. This is some random conversation from a university website. So I'm going to just simply play it for you to understand. Tell me about Christmas and New Year. What did you get up to? History or science? As you can see here at full volume, even at full volume, the voice is very feeble. And I want to see how good this model is going to do. It's a five minutes, 24 second clip. Let's go ahead and then start transcribing it. So first of all, if you want to simply transcribe it without any timestamp, it's very simple, just a single line of Python code. All you have to do is ASR underscore model dot transcribe and give the input file into this as a Python list. So send it as an argument as a Python list. So I've got this open square bracket, close square bracket, and then I've got the input file name with which we just saved this audio clip and then just send it a couple of seconds. It took five seconds in this case for five minute clip. And we have basically downloaded this entire thing. You can see, tell me about Christmas and New Year. What did you get up to? And then this entire conversation, whatever that is available there has been transcribed successfully. Five minute clip, five seconds on a T4 GPU is really, really exciting. The next thing is with timestamp. One of the things that this model is really good with is that it can do timestamp as well. So it can give you like a subtitle thing. So this is a little bit of code here. I'm not going to go into the details, but what we are going to do is we're going to enable a particular parameter here that says timestamps is equal to true. And once you do that, all the details will go into this object output. Now all you have to do is get the word separately, get the segment separately, get the character separately, and then just iterate over all of this. And then you will get the final output. So you have got, what did you get up to? Tell me about Christmas and new year. So let's go here and then see a particular conversation. No. There is a lot of eh, 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 eh. so two minutes is like 120 seconds. So if you go see here, 120 seconds, tell me what you have in school. Pardon, what are you up to? We mainly work. Okay, so somewhere here, this should ideally come. Let's see. Well, I was just at home most of the time. 
just stay home most of the time so let's see if it comes just stay stayed home most of the time so you can see i just stayed home most of the time somewhere around 200 uh, uh, seconds which is like 180 is three minutes so somewhere around the three minute 35 seconds mark okay so we're almost approximately correct i don't i'm not verifying it here but you can see all the details here like everything is here i think it might be still making some mistake because this is like a conversation with very very feeble uh feeble sound but uh, it's it's quite impressive uh, it doesn't do diarization like a lot of people ask me in this particular video the previous video i made so diarization, there are different models that can do diarization, but if you want a high quality English transcription, ASR automatic speech recognition, speech to text, then this model is good for you. So all you have to do is upload an audio clip, any, any sort of audio clip here. And then once you have an audio clip, then you have to just run the particular set of code. Like I gave you the code, you can just run this and then do, uh, it will just transcribe it for you. I hope you got a chance to learn how to run your local speech to text system or automatic speech recognition and if you do not have a local nvidia gpu you can directly run this on google collab or if you have got an nvidia gpu you can just download this as a notebook or a python file and just change the relevant files and then run this let me know what do you think about this happy prompting